Hello everyone, this is Alejandro Ortiz from Cisco TAC Hyperflex team. In this video, we will see the process of how to upgrade firmware observers from an Hyperflex stretch cluster. This process is valid starting on version 5.0. First, we need to upload the upgrade binary files of the target version to both UCSM sites. We can obtain those files from Cisco.com. Navigate to Equipment, Equipment, Firmware Management, Download Task, Download Firmware, and select the desired file. We need to upload B and C bundles, despite just having rack servers. It will take some minutes to be transferred to the UCSM, and after that, we need to make sure it completes the FSM. Once completed, SSH to any controller VM on a site and log in with SUDIA. It will ask for your admin password and then an easy math expression where we need to enter the result of it. Change to TMP folder using cd slash TMP. Run the highlighted command. This generates a file called customer underscore site underscore config.json and saves it into the current folder. We can confirm with ls command that it has been created. Edit the JSON file in order to change the firmware version and the organization name appropriately. Type vi space the name of the JSON file, scroll down to the UCSM firmware section and edit the value to the target version as shown in the video. In order to edit the file, you need to type escape plus i. This will change vi to the insert mode. Modify it on the following section shown. If your cluster has M6 servers, you'll need to modify as well the version dash M6 section. Then we scroll down to the Hyperflex org name section and modify the value to say the organization name in UCSM for our cluster. In this case, our organization's name is Tokyo. Save the changes by clicking escape to enter in command line mode, then type colon wq and click enter. You can double check you set the correct values doing a cut to the file. Execute the command again and enter the UCSM IP and credentials for the first site. Wait until it shows configuration completed successfully. Navigate to UCSM and click the pending activities that now show blinking in red. It shows the servers of the cluster pending to complete. Click on the first server to double check serial number. Then navigate to Hyperflex Connect and put the node in maintenance mode. Make sure the serial number of the node is the same that we checked on UCSM. Wait until it completes to enter in maintenance mode. You can monitor the process on the activity section. Once it shows completed, make sure it is also showing in maintenance mode from the center. Go back to UCSM and acknowledge the reboot of the first server. Monitor the activity from server FSM tab. This can take several minutes or even hours to complete. When it shows 100%, we can check on the installed firmware. 
A running version for CIMC controller shows the new version. Navigate to HX Connect and exit maintenance mode of the node. Monitor the process and once it completes, wait until the cluster goes back to healthy state. You can either check it from the dashboard or from WebCLI with command stcli cluster storage dash summary double dash detail. Once it shows healthy, we can put the next node in maintenance mode. Wait for it to complete and verify on vCenter it is in maintenance mode. Acknowledge the pending activity on UCSM and wait for it to complete. We will wait again until the upgrade completes 200%. Then we can go back to the HX Connect and exit maintenance mode. Monitor until the cluster shows healthy. We need to perform same steps for all the servers of the first site. We will repeat same steps for the second site. We need to SSH to the controller VM as Diag user, change to TMP directory, and if JSON file still exists, we can use the same or we can recreate it with the highlighted command. Edit with bi customer underscore site underscore config.json in order to add target versions and organization name on the other side. Execute again the highlighted command. Enter the UCSM IP and credentials for the other site and perform same steps for each server as we did with the previous site. Firmware upgrade has completed and cluster is back to healthy state. Thank you for watching.